And we're back, with some more oxygen not included, on this achievement run. Alright, uh, at the moment we've just knocked out one more colony achievement, Locavore. We only needed a few more thousand calories last episode and yeah, we knocked them out in no time at all. The problem now is, now that we've knocked it out, that's great, we can just start planting plants. However, we're still dangerously low on calories, uh, namely because the water ran out up here. So now we've got to go down here to make our lice loaf, or well, to get the water for it. So I'm thinking we'll we'll move the micro mushers down here. It should hopefully cut down on transport distance, and we'll still export the mush bars up there. But that should be a lot less travel time. Uh, at the same time, while that's going on over here, we're just tidying this place up a bit. Oh, you put that uh, set direction left. Yeah, we'll set you to direction left. This here is going to become. I think we're going to have to export a few people here. The thing is, we need time over here to get the crops to grow, and we're going to need a lot of them. For example, we only have mealwood to plant. We have 24 seeds, and we need 10 seeds for every pawn, which means we need to plant 60 mealwood. As you can imagine, that's going to take a while. Actually, we're going to make this a priority six. We're going to need that cooking station up and running as soon as possible. In fact, we're going to stick down another cooking station right there. Okay, there we go. We're started. Uh, what are we doing back over this side? Oh, yeah, I really need to give up some more stuff. There is some oxide up here I would like to gain access to. So I'm thinking we go up this section. What we can do is we can drill up here, maybe make ourselves a little bit of a gap. That way, any polluted water that we encounter here should be able to flow down here into this section. Won't help the sleet wheat, but uh, there's plenty of sleet wheat around here. Oh, that's 97%. Nope, nope. Don't care. We need to, yeah, we need the space here. So we're going to drill straight up here. That should get us to the oxide, and that oxalite will keep the dupe alive a little bit longer. Then we can start worrying about drilling out all this area. This is going to have little hatches and, uh, oh, muckroot and stuff in there. We've got to about four or five cycles we have to have before we have to worry about food. Oxygen-wise, I don't think we have quite as long. Oh, and I should really note that uh, Brendan here does have the skills to dig abyssalite. I was not thinking about that. The second super hard digging gives you abyssalite mining. It just... Oh, I keep flipping that one in my head. I always think that the third one should be abyssalite mining instead of diamond and obsidian. God knows why. All right, uh, dig all the way up there. Get that oxalite for us, please. And in the meantime, back home, please tell me we're producing enough food. Yeah, we've got just about enough food to tide over. And in that case, it's time to start putting in planter pots. Uh, right, where are we? 19 planter pots. That should be perfectly fine. That'll just at least get us started. That will take 19 of the 24 seeds you have, then we'll need another 5 later. But I, I think we can start with that. It's going to take a while to expand out our crops, but that should hopefully be more time efficient than all of this. Also cheaper on our water supplies. This is really eating into our water supplies. Alright, we are finally planting all of these seeds. But dear lord, it's going to take so much of them. I've uh, just temporarily assigned Sexia to the farming. They're not great at it, but they can plant and they can drop off uh, the resources to them. When it comes to harvesting time, though, we're going to have to get some of the other people on it. The problem is all our best farmers are also our, our best cooks. So what's it? Yeah, this one actually has agriculture of four. So they're our best one for getting additional seeds. So once they come on, once the farms actually start needing proper tending, they're going to have to get diverted to that. And we'll have to get a substitute cook to take over. Uh, God damn it. And oh, excellent. You've almost hit that section. Yeah, and that did it. Oh, that sleep weed's still growing. Yeah, perfect. That seed wheat could grow, harvesting it would actually be pretty decent for us. Hey, there we go. Oh! There's the... There's the output. What the... I was assuming it was going to be over this side, like somewhere on the left. Well, this one's on the right. I just assumed the other one was going to be on the left. Goes to show. Don't make assumptions. All right. Uh, in that case, we should dig across there as soon as possible. Yeah, we're going to go there. Perfect. Actually, you even line up perfectly with the floor, the flooring we're doing. Yep. Yep, right across there. Also, we can slaughter some of these Sweetles for meat and ship it back to our home. Well, once the supply teleporter is finished. Wait, that's the output. God damn it. That's the imp. Okay. So, this is where we're going to output the oxygen into our base. And this is where we're going to input any raw meat or actually even some seeds. They have, where is it, bristle blossoms here? I'm thinking some bristle blossoms back home would go a long way, especially considering how much water we have available. Also, there is a giant patch of oxalite. We're just going to go up and immediately access that. It will release an entire monsoon of sand, but that's fine. That's fine. Our poor dupe over here is not feeling the May West still. What are you doing? Food poisoning. 0.8 of a cycle. How did you get so much germs on you? I could have sworn we were more careful about that. What's your germ section at? Uh, one germ on you. Oh, come on. You'll be fine. Alright, and back home, the printing pod has activated. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Eight, eight Paku? Can we really turn that down? I don't think we can turn that down. Oh, man. Oh, let me think about this for a minute. We might be able to ranch those. This could really simplify things. Oh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. you see, the thing is, we need algae. So for the algae, we would need to have the supply teleporter output ready to go. We need to send someone over to the other side and we can just start shipping algae back to, to the fish. Yeah, I think I think that's possible. 1.3 days. We just need a big enough water tank to put them in where they won't die. Uh, damn it, we don't have a water tank. We used to have a Paku down here, but this Paku died. Yeah, the cold got to it. Uh, there's also this poke shell down here. They're a little bit entombed. Their eyes are sticking above the ice, but the rest of them... rest of them's not too happy. Not at all at all. Okay, let me think. Let me see if we can figure out where we, we want to put these Paku. Okay, I have a plan, sort of. We're going to need... pause for a minute. We're going to build some igneous rock tiles along there, then uh, seal that in, and then we're going to turn this into a water tank. Then, once we've got the polluted water in there, we'll probably open that up and let the uh, the fish flop into there and they should be able to fall down into that water. However, it's not going to be enough water to sustain them all, so I'm thinking what we do is we dig a cross here and up here and we let in the salt water. I know we're mixing salt and polluted water, but, well, tough. <laughs> we, we need we need what we need, and the faster we can get this done, the better. And uh, that means we're also going to want to dig out a few areas like... That there, and that there needs to be dug out. That way the fish have somewhere to go. And I'm not sure whether we should door in this side. Eh, what was that? Research is complete. Ah, our automation is complete on these eggs. Nope, they're still lullaby We've done the research that will allow us to automate them. We got the buffer gates, the filter gates, and the... Where was it? Damn it, do we need the memory toggle? Damn it, we need the memory toggle. That's under material study terminal? Dear lord, that's miles down. Hmm... Hmm, maybe we can figure out an easier way. You know what? Worry about that in a minute. Worry about the Paku now. Okay, we can unleash them into this tank now. Uh, this may be a little bit premature and early, but... Actually, I've looked at these other duplicates as well. I, none of them are worth eight Paku. Perfect. Actually, how are our calories looking? We may just have to slaughter a bunch of them anyway. Um, yeah, our food is looking pretty low. Hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, you're making lice loaf. That's the only thing left queued up at that particular section. And done. And of course, they're immediately overcrowded and glum. But we've got 25 cycles before that becomes a... Well, okay, we'd probably want to tame them before that, but give us 10, 15 cycles. What we're going to do is just finish this off and get started on it. Uh, over here, we're actually running low on calories. Remember, they do 2,000 calories a day. And, oh my god, how are you still food poisoning? It feels like you've been poisoned forever. 0.3 of a cycle. Great, great. Back to the bathroom again. They've been up and down like a yo-yo, which is why it's taking them so long to go over there. I decided not to dig out this section, as reducing the sand would, well, kill all these grub fruits. The moment we start digging out the sand, they'd all fall down and lose their planting. So, a little bit of extra food never hurt anyone, especially considering how starved for calories we are at the moment. Uh, Planting-wise, actually, we're all done. Do we have any other seeds left? In fact, we do. What? Queue up the rest of them. We'll have our planters along in a minute. Okay, fishies, you've got a slightly larger tank to play in. We'll enlarge it a bit in a minute. And in fact, yeah, somewhere down about there. And we'll put in that across there. It's fine. It's fine. That looks perfectly clean and normal. While that's going on, our other colony, which honestly I know this is going to get really, really awkward, is now putting together an oxygen pipe that comes out of here. Well, a gas pipe. This gas pipe should, once this is activated, feed oxygen to this this colony. Uh, where are you going? Probably to grab copper or, yeah, they're going to grab copper from to do the vent. Once that's done, I'm thinking we come down here and we're going to need to get our hands on muckroot. We are down to 5,000 calories. That is not good. I was about to send our scientist over to activate the teleporters on the other side when I discovered a minor problem. It seems Randy strikes again. These conveyor rails are not connected. We can't, we can't send stuff through that. That just doesn't, doesn't work. We can't, we can't, mm. we can't send stuff back. So we can't send the algae back. We need to have conveyor rails researched. I don't know if we need to be able to build them as well. If we need a mechatronics engineer, then our whole plan is scuppered. I'm not sure this is supposed to be that way. I'd have to load up a few saves to check. But on this side, all of our, uh, all of our rails are connected. So I think that might just be a bug or a glitch. Uh, I hope, mm. you know what? We'll just do the research. It's going to require smart storage and solid transport, but it's not the worst. It'll just take a little bit of time. 
And some water. And seriously, does someone not want to get on top of those two? We, we need water. Wow, we have really eaten through our water supplies. That mush fry is just so expensive. Okay, come on. Well, our dupes over here are trying to, well, expand out our potential fish farms. Uh, occasionally hugging the eggs. How are you doing? You're still lullabied. Yeah, got 86 seconds left on that one. You should be, yeah, just about behind it. Uh, so we, we've definitely got our ranches slowly expanding. And we're hopefully going to be expanding into a little bit of fish farming as well. That should definitely help with us. Uh, oh, I should probably point out why we're going through all the effort of getting all of that. If we go under here below Locavore, uh, we've got super sustainable, or not super sustainable, carnivore. This requires us to consume 400,000 calories of critter meat before the 100th cycle. So, meat, that counts as fish or, well, barbecue. In fact, I think burgers count as well, though that would be a rather complicated way to go about it. Uh, down here, though, this uh, Brendan is slowly but surely going to smash their way through this entire biome. Though, uh, somehow we're going to have to condense all that water into a single tank. Uh, you are, yeah, doing just fine, but hopefully you can find some more calories soon. Oh, there's some muckroot. How much muckroot we got? 800 calories, dear lord. Okay, right, farm the lot, or chop up the lot of it. We want as many as that muckroot seeds as you can find, because it's the only thing that's going to keep you alive. You are going to be foraging, I believe. And where did that water come from? Oh, yeah, there's a little blob there, wasn't there? And there is a harvest-ready plant. And it actually just fell off the vine as we got in there. The only reason we didn't come down there and harvest this earlier was uh, if we tried to dig out down this way, the water would have flooded into this area and killed it. And it just, it wasn't worth it. Plus, we wouldn't have been able to use this water to make the mush fry. So, it just felt better to leave it there and not be bothered. Uh, at the same time, let's dig those two up. We want to replace those. Uh, we're going to be digging across here and up. So, yeah, somewhere around, I'm thinking, there? Ooh, that's a lot of sand. Oh, hallelujah. Our first crop is starting to come in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah... Okay, that means we can cut back on the mush bars just a little bit. Not not enough to stop making them just flat out right now, but soon. Soon we won't actually need to make mush bars all the damn time. We only need about half as many mush bars as before. Alright, uh, we're going to have them dig over here, sort out that section, and how are we looking over here? You have already finished all of that. Good job. 6,000 calories? You find 2,400 muckroot and 600 meal lice. Um, yeah, respect. Alright, down here. We want to... yeah, I'm thinking straight down. Brendan is doing stellar work over here. And at the same time, back home, I believe we have another gate activation. Uh, this time, nothing... Oh, the 12 constructor I do kind of like. Hmm, actually... No, 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 what, what am I even doing? We're barely surviving on calories. We're just bringing crops online. I've been doing the numbers on this. Uh... We have 18 planter pots in there, 18 planter pots in there, and we're going to put in another 18 in there. That will give us, oh, let's see, 54? Uh, that'll mean, that'll give us 54 meal bud. We'll still be short six of the necessary ones just to feed these six duplicates. And you got to remember, we can't really, we can't really start eating into our meat supplies until we get closer to the time. It'll take us about 34 cycles to eat 400,000 calories with six dupes. So... We've still got to feed everyone for about the next, oh, 20, 30 cycles? Yeah, about 30 cycles or so. So we're going to, oh, no, I can't be hiring more people. Though, that builder does look pretty sweet. No, no, I can't. I can't do it. I really would like to pick up a Mima right now, but it's fine. We'll just take the grub fruit. Do we need the pip now? We don't need the pip eggs. We already have, uh, our pip farm is already getting a little bit out of control. I'm going to have to find some way of getting those pip eggs out of there that doesn't involve incubators. Hmm. Uh, actually, yeah, I think this can do. We'll stick the eggs in here for just a minute. Well, we've completed two rows. Now we just gotta... Oh, come on. Get this done. At the same time, we're still waiting on that research. Uh, I feel like it's taking us forever to start colonizing that second planet. Well, that's a bit of a mess. Oh, and I forgot to delete that. It's probably okay. Uh, I think we can cancel that mop command and enable a deconstruct on there. Be fine. Bennington, what's wrong with you? Are you sick or something? Yucky lungs, hungry, sopping wet, and low oxygen. Oh wow, you're stressed. You are super stressed. I'm thinking we might actually need to give you a... Yeah, where is it? Massage table. Uh, now, where do we put it, and how much power is this going to cost us? I think there is fine. It might redline our grid just a teeny, teeny, weensy bit. 
but I think that is going to be very important right about now. I don't want them having a mental break. What's... what is your mental break, actually? Uh, your mental break would be... Vomiter. Hmm. You know what? That's not so bad. You know, if you want to have... Actually, no, you might puke into something we wouldn't want you to, like this polluted water pit. It, it's fine. It's fine. Probably. Well, uh, I think Millington figured it out pretty quick. The moment they finished building it, they just hopped right on top of it. I didn't even have to change the settings. Break starts at 50%, break ends at zero. Well, uh, how's, how's your stress looking there, buddy? You're looking a lot happier than you were a minute ago. Uh, Stress-wise, 20% for frankly depressing, minus 20% for high morale, 20% for sloppy wet, and minus 34 Receiving massage. Okay, we should probably have put that in a massage room. Nope, nope, not going to worry about it for now. Uh, getting people's morale any higher is kind of pointless. Right now, if we check under the skill section, everyone's got, well, 12 morale is the lowest, so it's not like we need a lot of morale right now. Every, so long as everyone's getting three or four points more than they need, they're already got high morale. Hmm. Actually, what's Brendan up to? Brendan, you should be just finishing down over here. Oh, you did. Perfect. Huh. And I've had you standing around doing nothing, which is horribly inefficient. Okay, I want you to take care of that, and then that, and actually, wait, no. There's a couple of hatches down here. There's, yeah, there's a couple of hatches there, and I don't want to drown them if I could possibly avoid it. So I've left them a little hopscotch thing here so they can get up to there. Um, hmm. I might want to actually give them some more outs as well. Well, you know, just in case. Also, they can jump two tiles. What am I thinking? Well, it's about to hit nighttime, and as it does, those nocturnal hatches should wake up. If we've done this right, they should try hopping up here to avoid the water. Or they'll just stay underground and suffocate. Uh, seriously? Come on, guys. I suppose you are burrowed in neutronium. H how do you get out of there, then? Well, you're wild, and you're happy, and you're unreachable. Great. Great. Okay, so... Yeah, they're just stuck in there. Damn it, I was... We might just kill them then and grab the meat. Okay, over here, this pool is slowly filling up. They're still overcrowded, though. Maybe we should kill a few. Mm. See, I'd prefer them to reproduce and drop an egg. This is the sort of the scenario you're faced with these. If you get enough water, then they have enough space, and then they will reproduce and drop one egg before they die. However, if you don't have enough water, they're overcrowded, they get glum, they don't reproduce, and they don't drop another egg before they die. Hmm... So if we can get this water down there, they might actually do it. Now, where is... where is Millington? Millington? Oh, look at them. They're sleeping away, happy as Larry. Their stress is slowly decreasing. Uh, I think we let them go on to the... Uh, yeah, we let them hop onto the massage table again just for a little bit. Yeah, why not? That should hopefully bring them down low enough. Yeah, if we get them down below 50%, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. At the same time, back over here... We are digging out everything in this section. Why? Because there's probably muckroot and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, we've got... We now have more muckroot for calories than we have nutrient bars. So, you know, they're they're foraging. And there's another hatch. Which we'll probably immediately burrow. Oh, which reminds me, actually. Uh, put one there, there, there. The reason we're putting these lather segments in is just because there's uh, little cracks there, which means there could be anything in those tiles, including hatches or more muckroot or something along those lines. Brendan is doing quite well for themselves over there. Keep digging, buddy. Keep digging. And over here, we've installed two massage tables in this area. And it's immediately a massage clinic. I don't think we even need a plant. Well, we might need a planter plot. It just needs a... What is it it says here? Massage clinic. Massage table, no industrial machinery, one decor item, and a minimum size of 12 tiles. Uh, I, yeah, that hanging pot is actually classified as a decor item, as far as I'm aware. It just... Normally, you need a little bit more than the pot provides. Now, that means we can deconstruct this table. We don't need it anymore. And Millington can get onto one of the other ones. Actually, what's your stress at, Millington? 46. You know what? We're going to chop that down just a little bit. Come on, hop on. And immediately that should give them a better go of it. Last time they were getting minus 30%. Now they're getting minus 60. Okay, double the stress reduction? That's worth it. That is so worth it. Right, but that's enough for now. You know what? We, we've got work for you to do, and pack you that need to be expanded upon it. God damn it. Good job, Mennington. All right, once uh, Mennington's back on the case, they should be over here to help out on this section, and we are going to prioritize... there. Come on, you're going to get a little bit of a soggy feet, and you're probably going to be very unhappy again shortly, but hopefully we can get this done today. I just noticed something. Research is complete. Hells yeah, conveyor rails. Okay, please tell me, for the love of God, 
that we can now finish these rails over here. We should just be able to do that. And yep, yep. Once we had them researched, we were able to connect them. Now, I don't know if they were disconnected because of a bug or whatever it was, but once you have the research or the option to build them available, it's like when you're joining two wires together. If you have two wires right beside each other, you can join them, even if you can't, don't have access to them. Oh, that was a lifesaver, because if that didn't work, I didn't know what we were going to do. In that case, uh, science-y, zap, you're heading over there. That will take some pressure off this place. That'll drop us down to five dupes. Though, what was Zap doing here? Well, barring the research, which was their primary goal, they were also operating, so they were probably running on the wheel. We might see power issues now that they're going away. Uh, they'll probably be fine. Oh, wow, you're already in. Teleport away, buddy. Teleport away. Uh, does it automatically bring us over? Yes, it does. Oh, uh, first thing we want to do is you want to deconstruct that and stick in another bed. You can't deconstruct the brain in a jar. Not until, uh, well, not until you get the, the proper record. Oh, what am I doing, actually? I should have just put beds up here. That would have made way more sense. You know what? We can put them there and we'll be able to stick in, yeah, four beds. Okay, not just yet. We'll, uh, we want a bed for Zap straight away. Uh, now, let's see. Zap, where are you going? Construct cot. Excellent. You can build your own bed and at the moment, Brendan is off here on the edge. Uh, once they've constructed that cot, though, I think the next thing we're going to want to get them to do it... The, oh, they were getting muckroot. Once that's done... Supply teleporter activate. That will allow them to bring oxygen in. And then once that's done, we'll probably go over this direction. How many calories have you got? 9,000 already. It's actually pretty good. Okay, come on. Where are you going? Downtime. Going to use toilets. God damn it. Oh, water has started dropping. Please tell me we've got enough. Idle, wild, happy. Yep, yep. They are super duper happy and they're not overcrowded anymore. Wait, no, that's polluted water. So yeah, idle, wild, happy. That means they should start reproducing that glum. Hmm. Okay, we'll give that some time. In fact, over here, cancel all of that. We don't want anyone coming back here again because they've got to walk through this and it's definitely affecting their mood. And next up. Hmm. Actually, what is the next plan? I think I want to try a little experiment. Uh, down here, we've got some uranium and I'd like to dig all of that out. Why? Why, why can't I dig the uranium? Uh, uranium metal. Mellington doesn't have super hard digging. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that doesn't list it, but I'm thinking you need super hard digging to dig uranium. All right, Mellington. Let's see what that. There we go. I want that uranium so we can get rid of some germs. Uh, hopefully. I saw a little something online. We'll see if it works. This is going to take a minute or two. Also, it's pretty chilly down there. Uh, choose a blueprint. I think it's just got to be the ice. There's eh, no one's really. Well, okay, we don't need another duplicate, that's for sure. And the ice will probably find a use for it at some point or another. In fact, uh, we could probably improve our supply of resources here if we were to dump some ice in it. Ooh. You know what? I'm thinking our food is almost at the point where we don't need to care. We're down to five duplicates on this planet, which means once we get all of these filled, we shouldn't need any more food. I think we just let that run out. We're going to need to start filtering this water at some point, but we're, we're already on that. And these fish are... Idle, wild, and happy. Yes! That means they'll reproduce, drop eight eggs, and then we'll get to harvest these fish. Uh, and that's assuming we don't get any algae across anytime soon. And we'll be we'll be getting algae across. Also, we can start uh, meeting around. Once they're into egg form, we can dump some of the eggs over here and use this second tank. We couldn't do that before because, well, when the fish come out, we had no way of getting the fish from here to over there, which is a higher up tank. And this tank is being fed by a polluted water vent, uh, which is idle, and a cool slash guider which is idle? Damn it, never mind. We still have, well, actually it's not idle, it's definitely emitting. So this should get fuller and fuller. We haven't opened that cool slush geyser because, well, honestly, we've got too much water as it is. We, we just don't need it. But uh, give me a minute, let's see if we can't uh, dig out some uranium ore here. Okay, that's a little bit of uranium ore, 329 kilos. Now let's go grab an airlock. I think, where is it now? This one. Uranium ore, 200 kilos. According to what I saw on Reddit, you can just uh, chuck one of these down here and it will radiate everything in about two tiles around it. So that should kill all the germs. Though, eh, I've never actually tested it, so let's find out, shall we? Currently, zero radiation. Well, okay, the, the shine bugs are doing a bit of radiation. And the germs in here are, there's eight million. That's a lot of germs. Now, will the radiation slowly kill them off? The germs are, are they plummeting or what's going on there? Uh, let's see. Radiation's not traveling too far. 22 rads at the closest levels. Hmm. 
Okay, now let's give a go to the second one. There was, there's two different airlocks you can use. You can use the mechanized airlocks, and we don't have enough uranium ore. Damn it. Okay, fine. I'll go and get some more uranium ore. There is a whole batch over there. There we go. Yeah, we can just go grab that stuff. All right, here comes Mellington. He's already had 46%, st 48% stress. And um, did you just get called away to lunch? God, dude. Okay, uh, Leonard. Leonard, you can do this. Just, just finish it off. I don't think this is going to help, though. I think maybe the Reddit may have not quite led me astray, but maybe I need to, I needed to have less germs in my water to make this work. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. It's only pollu- uh. Right, it's going to take three of you to build a door. We finally answered the question. How many dupes does it take to build a door? Uh, say this tile in here, which is surrounded. Uh, 8.7, 8.6, 8.5, 8.4. It does slow it down, but I don't think it does slow it down enough. Hmm, I don't think that's going to be our way to decontaminate that. There is just... Well, there's a lot of germs. Oh, wow. Uh, I've already put in a deodorizer there. That's a waiting filtration medium. That is already deodorizing, and I've put a third one over here, a waiting filtration medium. In fact, I think we're going to replace this with a wall just to stop that stuff flowing in there because it's definitely leaking into our base and causing a mess. Oh, that needs filtration medium as well. Uh, you need to all go to level six just to make sure... Oh god, we're gonna need another... Okay, I need to put deodorizers in a few more places because that's definitely giving us yucky lungs and problems. Problems we're currently facing, though, are this water's about to run out. But that's okay, this water's been used almost exclusively for the microbe mushers and the mush bars, which we're phasing out with just copious amounts of mealwood. Uh, the mealwood will eventually phase out for bristle blossoms, but that's going to be a while for reasons. Uh, at the same time, on the other planet... We have activated this over here, the supply teleporter, and we're now pumping oxygen from the other side. That was a plan that took a while in the making, but yeah, this, this pipe got finished ages ago, so all it was waiting for was our new duplicate to activate that, which they did. At the same point, we have dug up a whole bunch of resources so that we can get more muckroot, and we've got some spindle grub fruit, and we're going to plant a bunch of that spindle grub fruit over here to keep this colony going, because I don't think they can survive on that. We also have to defrost this friend. I think we can defrost them now because we've definitely got enough oxygen coming in. Yeah, there's uh, the pressure up here is two kilos, but we do need to dig across here because this is our output. This is where we're going to be dumping resources back to our home planet. And I want to send back any hatch eggs. Some of these hatches are going to lay eggs. Uh, none of them have yet, but there's like a hatch over there. There's two more hatches over here somewhere. Uh, what's that? Is that a... Yeah, there's a, another hatch over there. I'm pretty sure there's another hatch around here somewhere or over here. We've definitely got more, and I'm pretty sure we're going to slaughter those Sweetles and send them back home as well. There's plenty of Sweetles, and if we kill those and send back the meat, well, it's going to help us with our calorie production. Anyway, I am out of time for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck.